Okay, a nice little problem I have here is what is the mass percent of hydrogen peroxide in a 10 volume solution? Now, first of all, uh, if you go to uh, uh, hairdressing supply uh, stores, you can get 10, 20, 30, or 40 volume solutions. What do they mean by that? Um, hydrogen peroxide, of course, is used to dye hair to remove the pigments in uh, hair. A 10 volume hydrogen peroxide is defined as a hydrogen peroxide solution, aqueous solution, of such a concentration that it will give off 10 volumes of oxygen for every one volume of the solution. So the solution is a liquid, and of course the oxygen is a gas. And um, if, if you were to decompose that hydrogen peroxide, 10 volumes of oxygen gas for every one volume of the aqueous solution liquid. We will assume that the oxygen is collected at a pressure of one atmosphere and a temperature of 273.15. So let's consider the decomposition of a liter of hydrogen peroxide. And by the way, um, I have demonstrations of this decomposition using yeast or ferric nitrate or platinum as a catalyst on, on my YouTube station. So I urge you to look at it and, and uh, use the burning splint test glowing splint test to test for the oxygen. So it's a nice demonstration. So uh, according to the definition, one liter of the liquid solution will produce 10 liters of the oxygen. So let's use the ideal gas equation to calculate the moles of oxygen produced. PV equals NRT, N equals PV over RT. Um, you can see the substitution here and we get 0.446 liters of oxygen. Uh, moles of oxygen uh, produced. Now, using the stoichiometry, we know that for every mole of oxygen, we must have used two moles of hydrogen peroxide. To get the moles of hydrogen peroxide, we uh, use the factor label method, and we get twice as much hydrogen peroxide as we got oxygen. So that's how much hydrogen peroxide must have been in that one liter of solution. You can calculate the molarity, of course, it would be 0.892 moles per liter. And now we want to get the mass. The mass of the hydrogen peroxide would be going from moles to, to grams. So we multiply by the molar mass at 30.3 grams of hydrogen peroxide in that one liter of solution. Now we will assume that the density of the hydrogen peroxide is one gram per milliliter. You could do it more finely if you looked up it. It wouldn't be too much off from that. So the mass of a liter of hydrogen peroxide is uh, 1,000 grams. And so the mass percent would be there's 30 grams of hydrogen peroxide and 1,000 grams of the solution. So it's 3.03 percent. And by the way, um, uh, household hydrogen peroxide is 3 percent. So it is 10 volume hydrogen peroxide, and if you had 20 volume, it would be 6%, 30 would be 9, and 40 would be 12. So this is a nice little um, uh, calculation that you can use to demonstrate uh, gas laws and uh, stoichiometry, moles to grams, grams to moles, and you could uh, proceed it by actually demonstrating in your class uh, using uh, household hydrogen peroxide, and uh, yeast is an easy catalyst. Uh, but there are other catalysts as well. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.